Hello, beautiful people of the internet. I have, of course, am Polcat, and I am here with the final installment of our, I believe, Entropy 2 run. What, is, what does it say for my difficulty? Yeah, Entropy 2. Entropy 2. Yeah, okay. I forget the difficulty sometimes. I'm like, no, it's got to be Entropy 2, right? But yeah, let's see what I've got going on here. There's a really good agitator implant looking here. Uh, I'm going to look in my inventory, actually. Believe it or not. Because I've got a lot of garbage in here that I just don't need anymore. Like this Nitro Blade? Nah. These these Gauntlets? Nah. Dominion? Nah. Pyro Rifle? Nah. Like, my team's built up the way I want it built up, you know? There's not really anything else I could use here. You know? So we're going to... And, you know, yeah, through selling items, we have made our way to... Uh, out of... Out of uh, <laughs> Out of poverty? I don't know. I don't know word, what word you'd use for that. Let's see what we got going on here. We have armor damage on heavies, which would be pretty good. AoE attacks instant or heavy attacks instant. Ooh, instant heavies with armor damage. That sounds, sounds pretty crazy. <laughs> sounds really crazy, actually. Oh! There's a better Bone Slicer, though. It steals health instead of armor. And it gives me Fast Mover. Oh, this is... This is definitely the item. Um, yeah. No, I, I... I, As much as I'd like to use, like, an instant attack, heavy, with 96 armor damage on it, this is definitely the item, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can get anything else with it that would even be close to nice. There's a Phasma weapon here. Uh, let me check my inventory. Let's see here. She's got corruption plus damage. Uh, what's this Phasma give me? Armor piercing? Uh, it's not too good. Yeah, I don't think I grabbed that. I think I just grabbed this Bone Slicer here. It's like always the choice. What's he have like a minus 50% defense boost going for your direction? Uh, that's pretty bad for everything against you. And let's make our way to the next planet. So I need to get level 8 on my Paragon, uh, level 10 on my Dragoon. And I think we're going to be pretty well set from there. Dragoon really likes getting level 10. Like, you know, level 10 is like one of those things that's like some characters, level 10 is really good. You know, some characters, level 10 is like the same thing. You know, Valkyrie level 10, she doesn't even gain any extra base power on her main attack. It's like super awkward. It's just like, well, you know, I thought this would be better than this by now. Okay, uh, that's not going to do anything, so get that out of the way. Let's see here. Who throws cards at who? I really want to get these guys to tier 1 more than anything else. This isn't going to do anything anyways. It's a lot of cost, but it should get me to exactly where I want to be. I could get these two up another one, but that's only extra health. It's not the biggest deal. I could get these two up to partners. I think that's worth my time. Then I can just get these guys up to tier one. It's not the greatest, but I think that's what I have to do. The other options just aren't really going to get me enough. She's just in an awkward spot, yeah. I knew this was going to happen, but it's whatever it is. I guess getting in them to partners is more valuable, though. Let me think about it. Well, first let me throw out this dynamic duo, because this isn't doing anything in my see this isn't gonna do enough uh huh i don't know what the partner's bonus is on these two and i don't think any extra speed on valkyrie is gonna make it well it could make a difference actually it could make a very large difference thinking, thinking about it okay I'll, I'll give valkyrie more speed yeah that, that sounds good i think that will give me instant severs which is like a back row hitting move it'd be very good what do I have left for one-cost cards? Attacks cause bleeding. That's a pretty good last one-cost card. 
And I have a night call left still, too. Uh, which I think I know where that goes. Oh, they, they still didn't get to tier one relationship. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm bad at the game, I guess. I didn't pay enough attention to that. Yeah, getting them to companions, that gives him more speed and gives her some regeneration. And she's going to need it more than anybody else. So that's fine. And for one cost cards I can throw out there, uh, extra crit damage sounds really good. Let's get that out there. All right, let's see what my uh, ISS Eternal looks like. So it looked like we had armor and other fun stuff up there. See you, buddy. Uh, let's see, armor, shields, DNA. Wow, we got we got the whole shebang this time. I think I could just take the DNA. The armor's cute, but like I just don't have enough armor steel to make like it very worthwhile. Uh, let me see what this guy's got going on here. Uh, this looks like a complete pushover crew, so let's go after these guys. I care a lot more about the first fight than like the second or third fights when it comes to what to fight. Because usually by the second fight, you can have some fury. But the first fight, you always have zero fury, which is a huge issue for like every team. Yeah, there's a hit and run. That's what I was kind of expecting for the game to do to me. But now I have instant sever, so I am very happy I made that choice. Let's see here. So this have a blast can come out near instant. That fireball's still too slow. Siphon stab? Okay, Siphon stab's a good option here. So, we'll sever. Uh, do I want to go to vulnerable? Well, firstly, I'll sever, and then I'll go to vulnerable aura. Okay. What's this fireball look like? Well, firstly, what's this uh, siphon stab look like? Let's switch over to uh, the vulnerable aura. Oh, goodness. Look at this combo attack. I'm so happy un I unlocked this. If I'm going to use the the twins, I, I better make sure I actually use the twins attack, right? Okay, it's a Vorpal Storm here. Uh, will this? Yeah, that will screw things up, so <laughs> just, uh, just hit stuff. Do I still have that armor steal from, like, a fight ago? I guess it really does last two fights. I thought it would dissipate by now. Or maybe she has armor steal on something. Oh, no. No, no. It's still lasting. Okay. I'm okay with this. I'm not mad at all. Okay. I can cancel your Overwatch. So I don't know what... I don't know if I'm really afraid anymore. Oh, I can instant slash. Let's get rid of this guy. Okay, I am overwatched and I have a no mercy on me. What the heck? I've never seen that before. Whatever, just poke this guy in the butt. Stop that. Tell him to stop that. All right, looks good here. Took 
a little bit of health damage, but I will get it back at the end of this, so we're all good to go. Okay, level 8. Very important. And boom, there we go. So I do have a Nadir that is improved. Uh, who gets what? Here's the questions. Okay, I'm going to definitely give you this improved Nadir. And sure, <laughs> it's not really much of an improvement, but that's fine. And I'll give the I'll give the level one Nadir to the droid. Never mind, that's a huge improvement. I almost never am able to give this guy something. Completely changed my mind. This changes everything. All right, what do they got for me? Well, that's rude. He, hum he hamstrung the one character that matters the least for my strategies, but hey, I mean, he did something. Just instant run through. Uh, no, instant shield slam. Uh. <laughs> they, they managed to throw the one combo at me that actually matters a lot. Very rude. Very rude. Very well, then. Uh, no, not the run through. I want to see the... Shield Sam doesn't do any armor damage, so we're good. Switch to Vulnerable Aura, definitely. Do I need to do I need to supercharge here? No, I really don't. I think we're good. You're gonna need to defend though. And uh, an echo, I guess, is all you can use. That smoke screen was very annoying because I couldn't deal with that shield guy in the back. He could defend the front row next turn, too. Which would be even more annoying. We'll have to see what happens, though. Yeah, that's exactly what he chose to do. I really need to stop talking my own death into uh, fruition, I guess, because that seems to keep happening. I really don't want to deal with this attack, too. And by deal with it, I mean, like, I don't want to deal with it on the, uh, the Guardian here. That's very frustrating. Get him on Phasma. Can I supercharge Mop Up? That's some damage output, actually. I just start throwing out all my big attacks. Ah! I'm so frustrated. Thunder hit harder than Slash? No, it does not. This is the dumbest plan ever. <laughs> Just everything. Do you think I care? I've stopped caring. We're getting rid of this guy. One way or another. Yeah, you can't guard if you're dead. Get out of here. How much is this supercharge going to do? Oh, it'll definitely kill. Didn't do that much, but plenty enough. Nice. Okay. Uh, grab the DNA here. Only 70. Wow, that was, like, not worth my time. That makes me sad. <laughs> it makes me very sad. I went out of my way to get it. I'm not going to be level 10 for the next fight. That's fine, though. We'll grab this hue for the next fight. It'll be at least a decent alternative, I guess. Yeah. 
So let's see how uh, he's going to be doing this again. Okay, that, I don't care about that. I, like, really don't care about that. Okay, I'm going to switch over to Phasma. There we go. I can s change over to Vulnerable Aura, which I think is worthwhile. Supercharge, Fireball. Let's go. Vorpal Storm, that's a break. And Tempest, but I don't know if that Tempest is worth it. I think it's more worth it to Vivescent something. Actually work on getting rid of somebody. Guess I'll get rid of the Overwatch guy. Uh, I could Sever here, and that will stop any attack from happening this turn. I think that's fine. It's not the best first turn, but we should be able to get rid of something pretty quickly on this following turn. Is that enemy still alive? Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? What a what a absolute beast. Uh, 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 how much damage can we get into this guy? Does this justice really do, like, almost half his health? Oh my god. It's not even that hard at hitting of attack. I am very surprised. I am okay with it, too. Let's see, cancel supercharge, enfeeble the back road, reduce the damage. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you do. And we'll beats per minute just to make sure that guy's dead. Though I probably should have spin backed actually. Cause now I won't be able to crit the uh this guy, whatever his name is. I think his name's Harold. He looks more like a Bob to me though. One way or another though. Okay, I am, once again, not afraid of anything he's doing. An instant sever, near instant slash. Dispatch? Supercharge dispatch is not worth it here. Uh, simply because I said so, but also because uh, it's just un it's just too much. It's basically just too much. I, I just don't need that. We need beats per minute. And sever. Okay, yeah, we're going to sever... Knock him out of this turn. And it looks like we're doing pretty good here. Yeah. So one thing I forgot to do was I forgot to put the Exalter on the uh, Dragoon. I don't know if I'll do that for the next fight. I could have used the extra shield restoring. Actually, I really, really could use the extra shield restoring, in all honesty. Be really good. Do I even care what he's going for? This is a good question. It's not even going to kill. It's not even going to get close to killing. No, we're just going to hit him a lot. We'll give him a really bad time. He he ended up against the wrong people. That's all I have to say. I'm going to switch to Nitro, actually. Nitro ignores armor, but more importantly, it'll slow down his next attack. His next attack is definitely going to be a try to call friends, which is very slow. I want to make it even slower. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, that's why I wanted to make him slower. I don't know what you're planning to do here, buddy, but uh, it's not going to work very well. I can say that much. Like 500 damage from a beats per minute. Yeah, not really going to enjoy that damage. Okay, uh, there we go. We can get Supercharged 2, which will boost his damage further to 40%, executes 30% faster, and 100% st extra stagger. That's really good. So, do I take the Exalter? I don't really think I need the Exalter on him anymore, actually. I think you can take the Exalter in of all things. And do you need a better Nidir? I don't think you do. Let's see, Shield, Shield Defense... No. Oh, if I swap these out, I can give the health defense to. I mean, you, you don't really need the health defense. I don't. I don't think you need the health defense. I think you're good. You're good to go. All right. Let's uh, see what the enforcers got for us today. Oh my God! His team is the worst dickheads I've ever seen. They're, he's going to use, like, Disintegration Beam first. I know it. Oh, no, he went used Reap. I was wrong. Hey, that's rude. That's also rude. Dow. Okay, fine. We'll pant. How dare you pants down me? I'll, I'll, I'll pants your own pants down. I'll, unpa I'll, un I'll unpants you down. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. This supercharged fireball, though. Full reliable, baby. Did that, that actually just break him? Oh my god, that was like one move. Switch over to Phasma like we should be already. Okay, things are getting broken here. Okay, do I Tempest here or do I Vivescent? If I Vivescent, I can probably take out this front guy faster. And pants down, that's just a stun, so I'm not really too afraid of that right now. Yeah, I can't believe they gave him, like, the Warmonger guy that takes a ton of damage. And a Bounty Hunter. Ugh, it's just rude. It's just rude. Okay, so what I need to be able to deal with here is this guy in the back row immediately. Uh, I am not... I don't have enough whatever. Hmm, this is going to be very awkward. Okay, that's slash kills, so that's one problem dealt with. That's the second problem dealt with. That's not a problem dealt with, but that is a problem uh, that's doing less. And I can stronghold now so that this doesn't do any damage. This is definitely what I want. I can echo here. I think I want to just to get some shields back. Yeah, I'll, I'll echo for a little bit of extra shields. So I don't really want to cancel his business. Man, this guy's got some really annoying ads. Okay, at least we've dealt with those idiots. Okay, what, do you, what does he got for me now? Drum fire. All right, that's a move. So I am out of fury, which definitely does suck. My high... Octane Fury team is apparently not always the best at using all their fury. Do I have any not instant attacks on this character now? Oh, have a blast. That's it. Okay, well, that's fun. He 
Okay, jump fire is an AoE, so we'll be able to use that to rebuild. Uh... Rebuild a whole lot of fun stuff. I really want to cleave here, actually. Uh, what can you get off of Ves the Vescent? Okay, that's perfect. Get this guy out of here. The sooner I get through his shields, the better. I can get irritated on him. Cool, we got irritated on him. Okay, uh, so I don't really care too much about the damage coming in, so I'm going to reduce it even more. I know that doesn't sound like it makes much sense, but I want to preserve just as much uh, shield as I have going on here as I can. Uh, unfortunately, the only attack I have fast enough is to sever. Same with this Justice. I could try to spook a out of his attack again. I don't think I'll be able to do enough here. No, not quite. It's not worth using those charges. He still has all of his armor. Oh, heck, we'll use him anyways. Not enough to cancel him out of it, no. Unfortunate. Yeah, that did nothing. <laughs> as long as an enemy has armor, your uh, your overwatches will do nothing. Oh, the, he's already doing summon right now. Well, that works. No, not lock target. Hey, stop blocking target on that guy. Can't you, like, lock target on anybody else? I could supercharge fireball here. And I, I know... I've used that a few times, but hear me out. It's really good, okay? <laughs> and it keeps working. So I'm going to keep using it. <laughs> you know, like, this is not a game where you go, eh, I don't want to use the same attack a thousand times. Like, look, if it works, you're going to abuse it. Oh, no, I, I went off Phasma. I'm an idiot. Okay, I could hew something here. I don't know if that's a good idea. I could also just cleave something. That sounds like a fine idea. Yeah, let's cleave something. Now, alternatively, I could have not done that there to preserve fury. But this is funnier. Quite a bit of damage is incoming here. So in order to reduce it, we need to take care of this guy. Clear shots quite a bit. We'll echo, get some shields back. Uh, where is... Oh, no, that's not the character I want. Enfeeble reduces damage. And we'll just Vorpal Strike. Get a little bit of armor back. The tiniest amount of armor back. But better than nothing. And we get a good chunk of damage in, too. Was that a 700 damage blade throw? Holy sucks. That's crazy.
Oh, bleed. Does that bleed last for one turn? No. It was a one turn bleed, okay. Uh, AoE's coming through. I'm gonna have to hold on my Fury this time. I don't have much of a choice. So, uh, do I Siphon Stab here? I think I Siphon Stab here. Then from there, it's just the question of how do I stagger the guy in the back. Okay, I know how to stop. I don't. I know how to stagger the guy in the back. Uh, we will go to not nitro, not pulse, not concussion. There we go. That will definitely be enough to push him over. That's all we need to do there. Dealing with this guy in the front though is going to be a massive pain because I am using my uh, best damage characters right now. I guess spin back it is. Okay, uh, I want to Osmosis plus Stronghold here. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. Switch back to Phasma damage. Yeah. I want to get a late kill too, actually. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I want to be able to build up the uh, fury and other fun stuff. Well, we will enfeeble the drum fire. I want basically I want the hits incoming to happen so I can build up the fury. This is just the best way to do this. Still zero damage. He still has too much. <laughs> this guy, on the other hand, though, uh, that's like, what, 300 damage back in return? Yeah, he's not going to get so lucky. There we go. We're back up to full fury. I definitely want that fury. I don't have any stuns to work with. Huh. I think this is... No, I have one stun to work with, but that's not worth using. Yeah, I think this is what I go with. So that way we can get a clear hit on the bat when it shows up. See you, buddy. Okay, how much is this? Uh, it's quite a bit, but not quite enough. We need to start debuffing the guy already. So let's see what we got going on here. Get vulnerable on him first. And parked. We've already got the vulnerable aura going. Right? No. I need to switch between the auras to make this work again. There we go. Now he's got less defense.
Let's see, I think I mop up here. That'll go through a lot of shields. Switch to pulse as well. Okay, uh, supercharge two mop up. That's completely fine. Oh my god, <laughs> that's instant. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Absolutely nuts, actually. Nine Vivescent, four hundred seventy Cleave. Rude. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, do I trust that? I think I do. I think we get rid of that guy right away. And this guy, he's not a behemoth. Whenever it spawns a new one, the new one's not a behemoth. I think it's because it can spawn more than one. They don't just don't want you to go through the heck that you just went through. Let's hit him. If I had a stun, yeah. Would have been a lot better. Ooh, my god, 2k. This will make life easier, though, that's for certain. Okay, let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's Warple Swarm first. Then go back to Phasma. Spin back. Uh, no, spin back second. Dispatch first. See, I could just supercharge mop up right away. That would do some pretty major damage. Can also try to break him a second time. Yeah, we definitely can break him a second time. While hitting him with hard stuff too. All right. Looks like we're in the clear here. All right, we've got like every debuff on him. Let's see what happens when we get the supercharge mop up on him. Yeah, that could have been better. Let's end this. Well, that there is the end of Entropy 2. Pretty good for us. That was a little bit, you know, you know, I couldn't take the VAT out there. I just didn't have a stun to work with it for the first turn. Because, you know, if you get two turns on that thing, you usually can take it out. But the fact that we finished Entropy 2 here is really good, and I'm really happy that we got through it without too much problem, especially with this team. This team was so awkward at the start, uh, but we eventually made it to all, all work out. So big thank you to everybody making it here once again. I hope to see you on the next time. And, of course, I have been Polecat.